everybody, welcome to another video. So I'm going to be do designing or redesigning the Scarlet Speedsters villains themselves of the Flash and basically his villains. Now, I really love DC and I love the Flash. A friend of mine is a bigger fan than I am, but <laughs> I really love uh, the Flash's villains. Second to Batman and Spider-Man, he has some pretty cool, amazing villains. But some of their designs, on the other hand, well, let's just say... Uh, I'm not a fan. So I figured why not do a redesign video because you guys seem to really love the redesign video, redesigning and kind of doing some cool stuff OC avatar wise in the uh, subscriber video. So I figured why not redesign some Flash villains. <laughs> so as a DC fan, I figured why not? So in today's video, I'm going to be redesigning Rainbow Raider Abracadabra, Kilgore, and, well, the last one will probably be a surprise. <laughs> but with that, our introductions out of the way, let's get into this. Let's kick this off with Rainbow Raider, probably one of the most underrated and kind of laughable Flash villains. I have done some designs of him in the past and partially which inspired this redesign. Rainbow Raider is probably the more laughing stock of the Flash villains and I kind of thought he was always the more interesting one and with CW's <laughs> The Flash having him in it and giving him a power that I thought was pretty cool, I thought I would add on to that. Especially with his powers being set with color and light i figured also quick side note i did see a redesign that i really liked on deviantart link in the description so uh honestly for me i wanted to make him a lot more linear almost ninja like and i wanted to give him more powers that pretty much really change the bar because i always thought that he would be a lot more powerful and a lot more dangerous than really most people give him credit for. So, thinking in that realm, most of his abilities are based around color and rainbows. I thought it would be a brilliant idea, idea not just being giving him the ability to change people's emotions through, no. you know, like in the Flash, with color, I also thought that giving him the ability also to teleport, or basically even go intangible. Or basically go invisible. <laughs> I thought would be a pretty cool ability is basically for him to also be able to teleport using his the facet of light. Think kind of like Raiden's one of his intros in Mortal Kombat, but a little different. Also fusing that with light speed of the power pack from Marvel. So yeah. The design I went with was partially inspired by the ninja from Ben 10, but also partially from other redesigns that I've done in the past. So with the design I went with, and with a more linear, very skinny approach, because I figured having him be almost, I also took influence from the spot, from the Spider-Verse movie, but I wanted to have a mixture between Tron and a Neo look. I figured him being called Rainbow Raider I thought him being a thief would be pretty cool, especially if he was also to use his skills in espionage and other stuff. So, having that in mind, almost more dangerous type villain because of the fact that he can almost blend into the environment, change people's emotions, and also manipulate colors. I thought of a cool ability for him that where he can change the color perspective of someone's the way they're seeing things. Similarly, how he can basically use his eyes and look at someone and change their emotions. Similarly to the Mutilators from uh, Kim Possible, I figured he could look at them and change their, basically the way they're seeing things. Because usually color is reflected, like there is no real color, but our eyes make it. So I figured that would be a pretty interesting ability. Also thinking in that realm, with his suit design. Now, I also designed his suit to be a mixture of a lot of things. And more linear, skinnier, and his suit basically more designed within the realm of light. I pulled a full 
O.R. Ash and took away his legs because I wanted him to be half with the way his suit is ingrained into his body. So giving him almost some reflective opponents on his shoulder pads, half in his torso, like a refracting core, and also because his suit is partially made of nanites and light components, like basically glass, I figured that his the material is a mixture of like nanite fibers that easily reflect basically colors, almost like liquid color is going around in the suit. He also does have the ability to make rainbow-like constructs from his fists or hands because they're, the suit can basically cut off a bit because he's mainly just a, a head and a chest. His hands and legs are made, can be made of pure light or partially bits of the suit. Kind of like with the Venom symbiotes, almost. Or Robocop. Take your pick. His shoulder pads will have these reflective glass paneling, and he has specialized goggles that he can basically use to his advantage. Seeing special items or stuff like that, like Batman's detective vision, or pulling a cyclops and shooting colored beams from his eyes, or using his powers through the goggles. So has the ability almost of density shifting with his suit. He can basically use his suit similar to the Venom symbiote and basically go around normal and act like he has legs and arms, but that's neither here nor there. Lore-wise, he was and always will be a thief, but in after an accident, which in my universe, this was what changed him into being more of a serious villain and less of a joke. His relationship with the Flash certainly changed after his accident, and his relationship with the rogues definitely did. But here's my version of Rainbow Raider. Moving on to our favorite techno-organic villain, Kilgore. Now, knowing not a whole lot about Kilgore and doing research into this video, he comes off as DC's version of Ultron for The Flash. And embracing that aspect, I struggled a little bit with the design because he is just a giant robot. I was debating to make him a cyborg, but I just did not like that concept. So, what I went with, taking a bit of inspiration from FNAF, of all things, I decided to make him pure code. Now, yes, he can have a robot form, but I figured it'd be a lot more practical for him to get around, similar to Livewire, if he was pure code, and he can possess robots and all that. So, sticking with that, I decided to make him this giant, skinnyish black silhouette, almost making him a lot more scary. We've seen robots and giant mechish robots so many times, it kind of comes off as boring. So, I wanted to make him a little bit more scary this time around. I also took inspiration from Tron Legacy with the design, but also Malware from Benton Omniverse of all things, and that one creature from freaking the Benton and Rex crossover. You know the one, let me know in the comments, I can't remember it at the time of this recording. So, but sticking with my design, I wanted to make him pure code. I also did take away his mouth. Him being pure code, I didn't really see much use for it, so I decided to make his eyes be the central focus. Kind of making him a lot more scarier, being code, I also kind of went with a live wire approach, and also a bit of a glitch trap kind of approach. It's hard to describe, but bear with me. I wanted him to be almost this techno-organic virus that he can possess machines, merge with technology, fuck with technology, and just be a very dangerous villain compared to just being a giant mech robot. So I kind of embraced that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my redesign of Kilgore. It's probably one of my favorite villains, so yeah. Also, he can build bodies for himself, so he's still robotish, but more code than anything. So, yeah! 
the futuristic magician himself, Abracadabra. Now, this one was the more simple one that I came up with because it was done in a weird order when redesigning. It was kind of the one that I did the second because it was the more simple of the redesigns. Because Abracadabra is from the future, I always had a problem with him looking too much like a base magician. I thought if his technology is so advanced that it comes off looking like really like magic, like he's a version of Booster Gold almost, why not have him look like he's from the future? It was always weird with all his designs. So, getting weird with it, I decided to t take influence from the magician side of him, where I also tried to make his design almost look like a futuristic magician. I am not sold on it, but I certainly did try. I did try to make it almost Tron Legacy-esque, and tried to make his design almost look like a straitjacket at times, but... Ugh. So it made him a little bit more linear and kind of skinny, almost kind of like Ego from Ratatouille. And I, halfway through redesigning him, I did realize partially I made him look like Zod or one of the Kryptonians from like Superman. But I couldn't go back and change it. So with his hairstyle, it was almost weird. I fused the CW's design with the classic design. I also thought with the future he comes from is the exact same future that Reverse Flash is from, which is the Batman Beyond timeline. I always thought it would be cool, and I always thought it made perfect sense. So sticking with that type of look, I kind of just embraced it. I also thought it would be cool if his suit was partially made out of nanites, or the same type of material that Batman Beyond's suit is made out of, and he's more ingrained with it. Not to where he's like a Technobath, like Bastion or stuff like that, or Kilgore, but kind of like he's more enhanced in a weird way. Abracadabra it doesn't have any power, so I figured I would keep that pretty much the same. Having him be almost like a magician, the way he is in the comics, and taking influence from his different backstories and different outfits, I kind of ended up with a look that was mixture between neo-futuristic and kind of simple. I figured getting rid of the more cartoonish aspects of his design and kind of embracing the era which he's from, which is the future, I wanted him to have that futuristic magician type vibe, which was very difficult and I'm still not sold on the outfit. I also had the idea to give him rocket boots and hologram tech because why the heck not? Even in a little bit of some cool abilities like holograms and stuff like that, or maybe some weird cool tech stuff. Because I was kind of running out on blanks when it comes to this design, because there's not really a whole lot to work with, besides making his outfit more futuristic, which is the idea. Him being a magician and being called literally Abracadabra, I couldn't really think too much. So I kind of wanted to embrace that type of futuristic look. I will say it it, it did it did kind of end up looking a little bit like Zod and different stuff from Krypton and I so I might change the design at some point in the future and kind of rework it, but I kind of found a, a middle ground with the design. Kind of keeping it somewhat simple and kind of taking it like a like a futuristic type of magician outfit, which was really hard to do. I kind of found a middle ground, so to speak. But uh, <laughs> with the black and the, a little bit of some neon look, here is Abracadabra. And that is it. That is all the designs done. Well, uh, I was going to do a third or last design, but I'm really drained. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what your guys' favorite design is in the comments down below. Let me know what 
characters do you think I should redesign in the future? And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All that jazz. <laughs> Especially liking and commenting because the YouTube algorithm sucks. But with that out of the way, have a fantastic rest of your day and bye!